And then the next big thing coming up on Friday, we have a couple of dry days Wednesday and Thursday to enjoy. And then Friday, here it comes again. Another risk for storms and possibly severe weather. If you look at the outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, you'll notice that this includes more of our area compared to the system that we're dealing with tonight. So we're really going to have to watch that, especially with all that storm fuel starting to work its way a bit further northward in the model data there for Friday. So that day looks like the risk for severe storms will include a greater portion of our area with that particular event, and that's going to be an impact during the day with those temperatures there topping out in the 60s. But as we look at that seven day forecast, Lauren, uh, we're watching Friday for first alert weather day, but it, it could get interesting next week. You and I were taking a look at some of the global data coming in today, suggesting maybe even winter weather Monday night and into Tuesday of next week. Yeah, Wes, and we want to get to that right now, that potential for winter weather next week. We mentioned that severe threat possible on Friday, but on MLK day and possibly early that Tuesday morning, we could be seeing the possibility of some winter weather. Now, would that translate to the possibility of a wintry mix that is not set in stone yet? Models are going to be spitting out some crazy solutions over the next few days, so it's up to us to decipher it for you. But what we are certain of, there is going to be below average temperatures six to 10 days from now across much of the lower 48, and that does include us here in central Alabama, hence that Arctic air outbreak. And as we look at those potential low temperatures beginning by Sunday, we could be seeing temperatures falling to freezing and then a first alert for teens early into the middle of next week before we see a warm up going into the following weekend. So look at those potential high temperatures, highs possibly not getting out of the 40s or 30s parts of next week and then a steady warm up into the following weekend. Of course, we always have to watch those warm ups around this time of the year if there's enough moisture around for any severe threat, but it is showing six to 10 days from now that possibility of above average precipitation. So you've got the possibility of really cold air and the possibility of some precipitation. Let's see that potential for maybe some winter weather. So here we are Monday morning at 6 a.m. showing this big dip in the jet stream and possibly enough moisture that could support some type of wintry precipitation next Monday into early Tuesday morning. And then past that, we have have much colder air. Now, is that a guarantee? No, not at all. It could just end up being very cold, but we want to watch this closely. That's why we're giving you the first alert. We'll be keeping a close eye on this. Past that, the weather looks really quiet.